Loneliness can feel like being lost in a storm, tossed around by waves of sadness, isolation, and longing for connection. It's a feeling that most of us experience at some point, but talking about it openly can be hard. Whether it's fleeting or prolonged, loneliness is something almost everyone faces. Yet this universal experience often goes unspoken, leaving many to feel like they're struggling alone. But today, I want to shed light on this silent struggle and explore how we can start to reconnect. Loneliness can be hard to define, but if you're feeling it, you know it. It's more than just being alone. You might feel lonely even while surrounded by people experiencing a disconnection or emptiness that can be difficult to shake. For some, it's a pang of sadness at the end of a social gathering. For others, it's an ongoing ache, a sense of being invisible or unseen by those around them. Society often equates loneliness with physical solitude, but loneliness is an emotional state, not necessarily tied to our surroundings. It's possible to be by yourself and feel content, or to be with loved ones and feel profoundly alone. Recognizing this distinction can help us understand that loneliness isn't a flaw in ourselves, it's a feeling that deserves compassion and validation. Loneliness can arise from countless life situations, Major life changes, like moving to a new city, ending a relationship, or losing a loved one, are common causes. Even positive changes, like a new job or relationship, can lead to loneliness if they disrupt your familiar social support system. Persistent loneliness has been linked to mental health issues like depression and anxiety, and it can even increase the risk of physical health problems. Understanding the real effects of loneliness can encourage us to take it seriously and seek ways to address it. There's a stigma around loneliness that can make people feel ashamed or embarrassed to admit they're struggling. But feeling lonely is a natural response to a variety of life circumstances. By recognizing it as a common human experience, we can create space for more compassionate self-care. The first step to coping with loneliness is to allow yourself to acknowledge it without judgment. Instead of suppressing or dismissing your feelings, take a moment to identify them. You might say to yourself, I'm feeling lonely right now and allow yourself to feel it fully. Practicing self-compassion can make a significant difference. When you catch yourself feeling lonely, try to be kind and understanding with yourself. Remind yourself that loneliness doesn't define you and that it's okay to seek comfort. Mindfulness can be a powerful tool in dealing with loneliness. By staying present and focused on the moment, you can ease some of the emotional distress that accompanies loneliness. Mindfulness allows you to experience your emotions without letting them overwhelm you, offering a sense of peace even when things feel difficult. Fighting loneliness requires small, intentional steps that help you reconnect with yourself and the world around you. Start with small gestures, a text to a friend, a call to a family member, or joining a local group with shared interests. Engaging in meaningful activities like learning a new skill or volunteering can bring a sense of fulfillment and connection. Exercise and time in nature have been shown to boost mood and reduce feelings of loneliness. Something as simple as a daily walk in the park or a yoga session at home can elevate your mood, helping you feel more connected and grounded. Overcoming loneliness doesn't happen overnight, but small, meaningful steps can gradually bring light back into your life. Start by setting small goals, like reaching out to one friend per week or taking a few minutes each day for self-reflection. Over time, these small actions can help you build a foundation of connection and resilience. Loneliness is a storm, but it doesn't have to be a constant one. By understanding the feeling, learning to cope with it, and finding ways to connect with ourselves and others, we can navigate through it and find our way back to connection. So today, try one small act of connection. Reach out to someone, explore a hobby, or simply sit with your feelings. Each of these steps brings you closer to a life where loneliness becomes less overwhelming and connection becomes more possible.